Um, okay, so our next inductee tonight, Frank Varicchione, track member of the first ever indoor track team his senior year, and he was a class of 1949. Football. It was playing football that made him a Hall of Famer. He was the big member of the football team, standing over six feet tall and weighing over 200 pounds. When he came plowing down the field, the other team just got out of the way. <laughs> a member of the 1947 team that finished the regular season with eight wins, no losses, and one tie, and won the Midland League Championship. The first football team in Natick High School history to finish with an undefeated season. In his senior year, the football team finished with a record of seven wins, one loss, and one tie. Awarded a scholarship to Notre Dame in 1951 to play football under legendary coach Frank Leahy. 2013 Natick High School Athletic Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1949, Frank Varicchione. Frank Vericchioni from the class of 1949 was a three-sport athlete at Natick High School playing football, baseball, and indoor track. He will forever be enshrined in the Natick High School history books as being a member of the first ever indoor track team his senior year. But it was playing football that made Frank Vericchioni a Hall of Famer. He was the big member of the football team, standing over six feet tall and weighing over 200 pounds. When he came plowing down the field, the other team got out of the way. He was a member of the 1947 team that finished the regular season with a record of eight wins, no losses, and one tie, which was the first football team in Natick High School history to finish with an undefeated season. The football team won the 1947 Midland League Championship and finished fourth in the statewide Class C rankings. In his senior year, the football team finished with a record of seven wins, one loss, and one tie. Frank Vericchioni was awarded a scholarship at Notre Dame in 1951 to play football under legendary coach Frank Leahy. 2013 Natick High School Athletic Hall of Fame inductee from the class of 1949, Frank Vericchioni. When you get my age, 81, your eyesight diminishes a little bit. So if you bear with me. Uh, in, re in recent years, I received some honors that uh, most of you are unaware of. I bring this up only to make a more poignant point later. But first, I'd like to mention my extended family. My wife, Mitzi, and I had four children, all graduated from Natick High School. Two graduated from college with both achieving master's degrees. The other two became self-employed business people. We have seven grandchildren, one girl and six boys, three of whom have graduated from college and three graduating this year. The youngest is a sophomore in college. One of the graduates has just completed his second year of law school at Wake Forest. Mitzi and I lost one child this past November, our son Frank. He died of an aneurysm. He was 57 years of age. He left a wife and three sons. What can I say about my wife, Mitzi? Uh, we will have been married 60 years this coming January. She's the rock we all lean on and the glue that keeps the family together. Getting back to the original point, in February 2006, Sports Illustrated had a, a publication devoting to the Pittsburgh Steelers Super Bowl wins, including the 2006 Super Bowl. In that publication, they named the Steelers all-time team. I was named as one of the two offensive tackles.
The following year, in 2007, the Steelers celebrated their 75th year in the NFL. Part of that celebration was naming a Legends team. I was one of the two offensive, offensive tackles named for that team. My son Frank and my daughter Terry Henry and her family came to Pittsburgh with me to enjoy the festivities. I mention this only to compare my past honors with the one I'm receiving tonight. And hands down, there's no comparison. I say this because the honor tonight brought back a flood of memories. It's where it all began. It brings to mind the fantastic teammates I had, guys like the captains, Jim Marina and George Mitchell, both great leaders, and players like Clasby, Kelly, Montgomery, Dumas, Mallory, Drew, and so on, and a young sophomore by the name of Charlie Sticker. <laughs> it brought back the memories of the fun we had after a great victory and the sadness we experienced after a real loss. It also brought back the memories of all the hours of hard work on the practice field, under the watchful eyes of a great coach, Henry Plaus. Yes, the memories were in the recesses of my mind, were brought back to life by this occasion. I want to thank the people who are responsible, and I will cherish this for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. Frank, I don't know if you know this, but um, the, um, the, the entire world understands that when people are married for 60 years, you know how one anniversary is paper and another is, you know, like jewelry and stuff. 60 years is a house on the Cape. <laughs> In case there's any, can, am I right about that? Unless there's any confusion about that. Congratulations, 60 years is unbelievable. Truly, congratulations.